Hey, good morning, Church on the Ridge. I'm very excited to meet with you today. It's going to be a great day. God is so good. I, I was reading my Bible and I was reading about how John the Baptist got his head cut off. Now, that's not an encouraging story, uh, but there were some parts in it that I found really fascinating and actually very much so encouraging. Uh, when Herod was describing his relationship with John the Baptist, he said that he gladly received his message. He enjoyed listening to him. He took pleasure in hearing what John the Baptist was saying. And that to me was interesting that people that we think are absolutely, and there is no way they're ever going to hear the message of Christ, to hear God's love, actually enjoy listening to it. They may put on this stern front and this terrible attitude, but keep sharing life with them. Keep sharing Jesus with them and watch what happens. The second thing that I thought was really fascinating was he had made a promise to uh, his stepdaughter-in-law, Herodias' daughter, when she danced before him at the party, that uh, uh, he would give her anything she asked for up to half his kingdom. And all the officials are there and the lords and the leading members of Galilee and the whole thing are there. And so he makes this bold promise in front of everybody. Hey, she can have anything she wants up to half my kingdom. She goes and asks her mom and her mom hated John the Baptist because of the things that he was preaching and says, ask for John the Baptist's head on a platter. So the daughter goes back in, says, hey, I know what I want. I want John the Baptist's head brought to me on a platter, bring it right now. And so Herod feels terrible about it. But the Bible says because he had made the promise in front of all his guests, he had to follow through. Now that's a terrible story. And you know the rest of it. They bring him his head and John uh, is no longer on the planet. Um, but Jesus has made many promises. And he's made some promises. In fact, he told Peter, he said, guys, I promise you, I'm going to give you the keys to the kingdom. And the gates of hell are not going to prevail against you. And whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. This is a promise I'm making before you and to the entire universe. And here's the thing. We don't believe that. We don't believe that we have authority over the work of darkness. We don't have authority over the work of hell. We don't believe that we have authority over the things that the enemy is trying to push up against us. So we don't actualize that authority. And... We keep getting beat up by the things of this world, the evil in this world. We keep getting messed up by it. But here's the deal. If Jesus would make that promise in front of the whole universe, you think he's going to make good on it? If Herod felt bad about making good on his promise, and the thing is, Jesus never lies. So it's not even about whether he made it in front of the whole universe. It's just the reality that, hey, Jesus is going to make good on his promise. He's declared it before the world. He's declared it before the universe. You can bank on it. Today, when you go out into the world, Man, go with the authority that Christ has given you, that he's imparted into you. He's filled you with his spirit to take back the forces of this land, of this world. The kingdoms of the world have become the kingdoms of our God and of his Christ, that he shall reign forever and ever. Father, I thank you for that. I love you, Jesus. I thank you for the wonderful promise. In the midst of dark stories, there is great victory. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, I don't know what dark story you're going through today, but walk in victory in Christ Jesus. I love you. We'll see you this weekend for our grand opening. Don't miss it. Invite a friend. Let's push back the forces of evil in Jesus' name.